Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney and Star Wars and the original trilogy being better than the new Disney Star Wars. And Luke Skywalker movies. And Luke Skywalker movies and all of that. Uh, some rumors and we're going to go down the, the rabbit hole. But before we do that real quick, just to let you guys know, we have launched a micro crowdfunder for our official Clownfish TV enamel pin. Yep. You can go to shop clownfish.com or click the link in the description you got 12 days uh super limited once they're gone they're gone mm -hmm. so grab one if it's, i'm hoping to get some new t-shirts up soon yeah too. we're gonna we're working on some new t-shirt designs too but i like that bubbly steve he's pretty cute all right um so yeah let's talk about star wars uh let's talk about disney we're, okay we're gonna talk about uh, potentially possibly maybe scenarios uh, there are a lot of maybe scenarios here we're gonna talk about rise of the resistance uh, Galaxy's Edge and the possibility of, of Luke Skywalker returning via CG. Right, and just movies in general going that way. So this is coming from WDW Pro, again, mm -hmm. on the Magic Forums. And uh, he's been pretty accurate in the past. I know some people don't like him because they don't like to hear that Disney isn't all magic. Salty little penguins. Salty little penguins. But um, what is interesting is they're talking about disney's end game for their uh cg technology because you you know they've been de-aging actors right the last couple of years and it seems like the ultimate goal of that is to basically replace actors right completely. they said that the goal of the cgi is to uh test the waters for creating computer animated films indistinguishable from live action thus bypassing the need for actors and actor salaries as well as need for proximity according to one source the unnamed film a movie about young indiana jones though no other person has been able to collaborate collaborate you know the subject um but i have heard about that it might be doing something more young indiana jones before so that that kind of does line up with the one thing i had heard previously um they could go back to solo and they can craft in young harrison ford's face there you on go the old but they have to have you know the rights to use their likeness though don't they yeah well we're gonna talk about that because at least one actor ha has, has already agreed them. he's already agreed uh, so, yeah, they're talking about um, the interesting information is due to Guardians of the Galaxy film uh, being shot significantly delayed. The company is interested in using Cosmic Rewind as a proof of concept. So they're basically going to CGI the actors in because they can't really get them together because of the uh, pandemic. Right. They're, they're going to blame the pandemic for it. And everything. then they're going to see if, how people will react to the virtual and hopefully indistinguishable Chris Pratt. But I'm sorry. No matter <laughs> what you do, it's not the same that sounds like a movie title from like the 70s the virtual and indistinguishable chris pratt the virtual and the indistinguishable chris pratt yes uh it's not going to be the same it's not and look because i was watching avatar the other night i'm like man this this movie blew people away when it first came out uh at least the special effects not the plot they're the plot sucks but the, the special effects did i'm watching it now i'm like it looks like a video game you know it does but that's where everything's going you know eventually it's they're going to be like well yeah it's fine we don't even need to hire actors well that's anymore. that's you know they might have their like likeness though but it's it's interesting about this because they're basically trying to trick people you know can we does it look the same and we saw with uh rogue one yeah it's kind of cool and yeah it, it's it's not, it's really come a long way but sometimes it doesn't look that great like the leia did not look right she looked weird now tarkin was okay but then i kept looking at him i'm like he kind of looks like uh planet of the apes well they, they they did that they have an actor underneath yeah. and they put his face over top the andy circus is yeah he looked kind of monkey-esque um, but here's what's what's really interesting. We're gonna we're gonna go down this this rabbit hole here because this kind of you know dovetails with some other rumors about Star Wars and this sudden marketing push for Galaxy's Edge. Uh huh. There's been a lot of marketing push for Galaxy's Edge. And again, this is just all speculation. So before people go saying that this is all factual, it's it's we never it, said it was factual. My God, it's sad is factual. It, it's satisfaction when we find out that's right. Yeah, it is satisfactual when we find out it's right. So they talked about Marvel using the virtual live action system. Now, here's where it gets interesting, because I want to talk about this. Lucasfilm inked a deal with Mark Hamill. Again, this is rumor. Inked a deal with Mark Hamill without much fanfare within the past 18 months, which permits them to produce films featuring a CGI Luke Skywalker. I'm told that within the contract, Disney is also given the ability to use CGI faux reality of Luke in future adaptations of Galaxy's Edge. Unfortunately, due to the abysmal financial situation, the latter may not come to fruition anytime soon. And there was 
Um, this actually came up last year. Well, I noticed like, uh, like uh, last week, people were talking again about potentially there might be um, some more Luke Skywalker films. Because they need to fix Luke. They broke Luke with the Last Jedi. They ruined the the, the Luke with the fans, like the you know the the fan you know uh, goodwill. Right now, this is where I'm, I'm wondering where it's going to go. Let's go back to Galaxy's Edge. Yes. Because what got me, it wasn't the series, because I could see them doing a, a young Luke Skywalker series. So we've been saying for months now about Galaxy's Edge, even months before it opened, that there were going to be problems with this ride because we were hearing from Imagineers that uh, it was very complicated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there were going to be problems. So what kind of prompted this whole discussion was, uh, I actually retweeted Nathan Hartman, who said, hey, the ride's down more often than not and down in the conversation uh somebody said why don't they just start over and make an original trilogy prequel trilogy experience and i mentioned something that we've talked about mm -hmm. several times which is rise of the resistance in particular seems like it was designed so it could potentially be reskinned yes and i want to talk about that because if you go back if you go back to some rumors Actually, I don't even know if you'd call them rumors or verified by some people that used to work for Disney World. The original plan for Galaxy's Edge was going to be the original trilogy. Right. But it got moved because of Kathleen Kennedy. Because of Kathleen Kennedy. She decided that she wanted uh, her version of Star Wars, her story group to create this brand new planet and worlds and junk that uh, wasn't in the movie. So this was not going to be like their version of harry potter where you know with harry potter you're basically writing the movies you know right this was hey here's another planet in the star wars galaxy you've never heard of it vaguely looks like tatooine we'll throw the falcon in there it but looks like they originally planned tatooine yes and you know other things like that that's what it looks like it looks like it was originally planned for one thing but it was turned into galaxy's edge air quotes right and it one of the biggest complaints people had about it was it wasn't connecting with people from a storytelling point of view. They're like, it looks like a generic planet. It doesn't look like Star Wars. It doesn't really feel like Star Wars because we don't connect with any it of these. It looks like a Moroccan flea market. It does look like a Moroccan flea market. Um, it, it doesn't look like Star Wars. It looks like a knockoff. And, you know, there's something going on here because they're really trying to sell people on Galaxy's Edge toys and merchandise mm -hmm. now. Like they're trying very hard. And aren't they doing like a VR uh, story or yes, something with it too. Yes, they're doing a VR thing. Yeah, with that um, ILM Labs or whatever that they're doing a uh, Galaxy's Edge VR experience. Yeah, so I think what's going on here is, again, this is just an armchair opinion, but I think this is uh, partially Kathleen Kennedy's brain fart, and now they're trying to justify it and be like, oh no, no, we can make Galaxy's Edge, we can make Batu popular. It we went past brain fart. She crapped herself a long time ago. <laughs> she shit the bed a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, but Oga's Oga's Cantina, you know, oh, come to Oga's Cantina and Esquire. Ogus Ogus Cantina. Yeah, Esquire, which I want to point out, Esquire is owned by Hearst, and Hearst is partners with Disney on both ESPN and A and E. And yeah. it just so happens that of all the bars in America, this one, the one that you don't want, there's hardly any seating. You're lucky if you get in. The stuff's overpriced. It's really not that good. It's okay, but it's not that great. You're mostly paying for the experience. You're not allowed to walk around. You're literally shoehorned with a tiny bit of area, and you, they have a time limit on you. It is not what I would call a super, super fun experience. And it was only the one that they lo they, that they registered was the Walt Disney World one, which happened to be open. Uh, Disneyland wasn't the one they picked because Disneyland's closed. But had Disneyland been open, it would have been the one they picked, guaranteed. Yeah, so they're doing some PR and marketing for Galaxy's Edge to try to make it popular. Uh, you know, they're bringing Galaxy's Edge stuff to Target. Now, bear in mind that most people haven't been to Galaxy's no. Edge yet because it was supposed to be Galaxy's Edge stuff was at Galaxy's Edge, right? And you know they're they're trying to make it artificially popular. I think like look the 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 original trilogy sold itself, right? But I want to I want to look at this and be like, look, speaking of um, the Falcon, how hard would it be for them? to say this is Docking Bay 94, mm -hmm. the Ogus Cantina is the Cantina, and just swap out the movie, swap out the game, I guess it's a game, in the Falcon for an original trilogy experience. You could, easily. Very easily. So, I have to wonder, because there have been rumors uh, you know, about the cartoon 
um, about Rebels having that uh, back door in it that they could basically obliterate the sequel trilogy if they wanted to. I have to wonder if this theme park does not have a similar yeah. plan. That if they have to, if Disney has to, uh, because the sequel trilogy is not that popular compared to the original trilogy, that they can basically make a few relatively minor adjustments and retheme it for the original trilogy. They'll just retheme it to Tatooine. Make this Tatooine and make the uh, Rise of the Resistance part, you know, throw some more trees in there and make it indoor or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so here, they could do it very easily. Again, there was another ride that they canceled that looked like uh, dewbacks, like animatronic mm -hmm. dewbacks, but they, they threw fur on them and there was some other creature. I'm like, just make it a dewback ride. Mm -hmm. This is Tatooine. It's a dewback ride. Now, going back to this, Luke CGI Luke Skywalker in Galaxy's Edge. Yep. Where would he be in Galaxy's Edge? I uh, have a theory. Yeah. have a little bit of a theory. So just, you know, again, this is all potentially, possibly, maybe. Because we have talked about this on we multiple seriously occasions. seriously have to do a potentially, possibly, maybe shirt. Potentially, possibly, maybe. That's my disclaimer. The only place I could think of where they could use a CGI Luke Skywalker is obviously some kind of video. Or hologram. Mm-hmm. Some kind of a hologram. If they wanted to replace Rey, they could put maybe Return of the Jedi era Luke Skywalker. Yep. Commander Luke Skywalker. Uh, and it wouldn't matter if you're a hologram. You, if it wasn't completely perfectly accurate, it's a hologram. Right. So it just let's let's play pretend here. If the plan is to eventually retheme Rise of the Resistance, because we're seeing how the sequel trilogy stuff is not selling. Uh, they're trying to artificially get people interested in Galaxy's Edge, but even Hasbro, they're banking on original trilogy stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what sells. All you got to do is get rid of BB-8, put R2 mm -hmm. here, take out Ray, put in CGI Mark Hamill. He could probably still do the voice mm -hmm. and just make him look younger or something with the CGI. That'd be a good test of this stuff. This is actually our video, so we can go through this. Um, but going through scene by scene here on the Rise of the Resistance. So for all those people who said we didn't didn't ride it, we actually did. Akbar instead of yeah. Lieutenant, whatever it is, I forget. I forget his name. Let's just spray paint this Mon Calamari red, and it's Admiral Akbar. They already have Nia Nam. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's already there. The same voice actor and everything. So this is Endor now. We'll just make it Endor. That's going to be Akbar as it should have been, mm -hmm. honestly, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so then yeah, why would they have used what you know? Why would they have used that? That wasn't originally planned to have been original trilogy. I, I think this was originally planned to be original trilogy. Yeah, but I also think there is a a backdoor kill switch in this ride that they could revert it to original right, trilogy. Right, but I'm saying even the transport doors, it looks like we're yes. Han and Leia. We're sitting yes. there hiding from you know blast and yep. you know throw some Ewoks in there. I'd be in with Ewoks. I love those little furry things. I almost said another word, but I said, I'll say furry things. All right, so let's let's get on to the ship, the Star Destroyer. Well, now it's an Imperial Star Destroyer. All we got to do is take that red stripe off of that TIE Fighter. Yep. All we got to do is put the Stormtroopers in uh, OG Stormtrooper uniforms, and it it looks pretty much just like an Imperial. Mm -hmm. You know, how hard is that? Then we get to the ride. We just switch out some of these uniforms. You know, again, you could very easily very easily convert this to original um even you know this is all screens so you take out kylo ren you put darth vader and admiral piet mm -hmm. in here instead of hux and mm -hmm. you know and even the lightsaber part there's a lightsaber part i'm spoiling the ride for you guys most people have seen it by now uh the lightsaber part they don't show the full kylo ren hilt it's just a red blade mm -hmm. it could very easily be darth vader's lightsaber that cuts through the ceiling we'll, we'll get to that part but yeah, I mean, there's very little, like, look, we're gonna ride, we're riding it with you. We're riding it with you. I'm getting in the seat. I'm trying to get buckled in. That's me holding the camera. By the way, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Here we go. This could very easily be an Imperial Star Destroyer, right? I mean, it looks- But well, they have the probe droid on here and everything. Yeah, the probe droid, like, yeah. There's look, a probe droid. There's a probe droid. Again, uh, this looks very, very- Original trilogy? Original trilogy. We had mousers running around too, I think. And we have... Um, then we go into the, the bay with AT-ATs. They didn't have... Were AT-ATs even in? I don't. I didn't watch Rise of Skywalker, but... They had the Gorilla Walkers. They had a couple of... But not like this. Not like this. These are original trilogy. Well, the heads are a little bit different. But they're, for the most part, original trilogy walkers. Again, 
if this were an Endor ride. That would make total sense because uh, they had walkers on Endor. All you got to do. And they do, have Finn like crouching, shooting. Just make it Han. Make it Han. Or a, a rebel soldier or something. Yeah. There's nothing on this ride that you couldn't, with a few tweaks, just uh, switch out. You know, again, these are screens. So it's very easy to switch these guys out. Original trilogy walkers. Um, and where's Finn? He's right there. Oh, there he is. Yeah. It's Han Solo. Just make it Han Solo. Han Solo and Stormtrooper, you know. Yeah, or Leia or something. Or Leia or something. Yeah, they'd probably go with Leia. Uh, again, Leia this works is, with me, too. But most of the stuff, like, look, this bridge scene, this looks like Vader and Piet on the, mm -hmm. you know, uh, It looks to me like it was originally planned earlier in yes. the trilogy. That's how it always came across to me. When we were riding it, we're like, this is very, you know, OT. And this this battle going on here, you make it, uh, you know, indoor or something. It's or screens. You can, it's, it's all, all screens. easily changeable. I Costuming think, and, and screen changes. I think it was designed this way. This is a screen. Put Vader in there. Okay, we got a lightsaber coming up. You can't tell. It's just a red blade. You can't tell if it's Kylo Ren or Darth Vader. It doesn't matter. It's just a red blade. Make it Darth Vader. Um, you know, all this stuff is just screens. There, just make it Darth Vader. Not hard. So, yeah, you know, I got to wonder if the um, reason... They're trying to get, yeah, here, we're going back to Endor. We're not going to Batu. I got to wonder if the reason they're not looking at CGI Luke Skywalker for the theme parks. Yeah, because they specifically say theme parks. Now, I have heard about a show. I've heard that a few times mentioned. Yeah. So that was it's interesting, though, because I guess Mark Hamill agreed to it. So, yeah. So, I, I mean, this there there is confirmation elsewhere that, you know, they're going to do CGI Luke or whatever. Are they going to find a way to ruin him, too? Probably. Um, if, they, know, that, if they made Luke and made him Luke, I don't care with CGI. I'd watch the heck out of it. If they would, if they would actually do like a, a, a Jedi Academy series or something and show that Luke Skywalker wasn't a complete waste of space, that would be cool. But but it is again what got my attention was saying the theme parks, and I do think that they might have a kill switch built into Galaxy's Edge that they could revert it to original trilogy. We noticed that right off. Even from like when we were looking at the um, concept art and some of the different things coming out of it when we were at uh, Celebration, we noticed that this stuff could easily be changed. I think that was by design. I think that might have been, like they were listening to Kathleen Kennedy, but I have to wonder if in the back of their minds or Bob Iger, you know, overruled her or basically was like, yeah, let's make sure that whatever we have here we can just reskin it easily uh, because, you know, people love the original trilogy. They're yeah, not. Yeah, no matter what. It. When you see what the stuff selling, the stuff that the OT, you know, yeah. you see all like, you know, the new, the, the, there's toys come out there by once or, you know, merchandise. It's, it's original trilogy. They just did a whole bunch of new items. I don't have a picture of it, but they're like um, 1970s ish uh, Star Wars logos and shirts. It's Vader. It's the ships from the original. Mm -hmm. They just did a whole line of that at Disney. Because they know that's what people want. I just bought a flipping Death Star pin bag from Lounge Planet long ago, and they were doing a big 40th anniversary Empire stuff because they know that's what people want. They're not buying this this stuff. Yeah, the other Kylo Ren and Ray and all that. They don't care. Yeah. So this this is interesting, um, and I think Disney knew they know what sells because when they greenlit Galaxy's Edge to be Batu to be based on the sequel trilogy. Not even based on the sequel trilogy. It's basically sequel trilogy era with a totally different planet. It's not even in the damn movies. But when they greenlit that, it was after The Force Awakens. Or actually, it was even before The Force Awakens came out. So they did not know how the sequel trilogy was going to play out. That was when they people. saw the dailies, I think, from the... the yeah, yeah, like, talk about jumping the gun. Like, mm -hmm. you know the original trilogy. Well, even The is, Force Awakens yeah. did quasi-good. I mean, most people just didn't get really pissed off till, uh, you know, The Last Jedi. I mean, I didn't like The Force Awakens. I'm like, I already saw this movie. It's called A New Hope. Uh, I took so much crap for saying that right off, too. But The Last Jedi is what did it for most people. Yeah. Um, and so they, they jumped the gun. I mean, honestly, if they had played it safe, and again, this is, this is Disney's hubris. Again, they thought that their Star Wars was going to be superior to George Lucas's Star Wars because they're Disney. And, you know, it doesn't matter how much marketing you throw behind it. If people don't like it, they don't and, like and it. And Disney has a, a tendency to take IP and ruin it. And, yeah. and we've seen it before with the Muppets and other things. So, I mean, they didn't have a super great track record to begin with going into this. So, I don't know. No. Um. So, yeah, I, I you know, I... 
like, I wonder, as soon as you said that they were working on a CGI Luke Skywalker for the theme parks, mm -hmm. I was like, yep, yep. Because this... we talked about it a few times. Because I told you, I said the only snag, the only snag with this would be replacing Rey with an original trilogy character. But the one that makes the most sense is Luke Skywalker. And if they can bring him back in C with well, CGI. Well, she's another Skywalker, don't you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so He's just going to take his, his legacy back. He's taking it back. He's taking it back. Uh, I would be 110% 110% on board with it. Now, you know, Rise of the Resistance wasn't a terrible attraction, but I think it was way overrated for it's what it was. It's really, really cool. If it works. Um, well, yeah, but like the, for like the first time you see it. But it is, it's literally, they say it's like a 25 minute ride. No, it's like 20 minutes of queue when you get through certain parts and like five minutes of ride. And it is really cool to do some really neat effects, but after you've seen it once, you already know it's coming. So it's not going to be in, it, you can still ride it again and again, but it's not going to get you that wow factor you did the first time. I mean, I'm sure you'd notice new things each time, but to me, if I don't, don't get a, a pass to ride it again anytime soon, that's fine with me. Yeah. Um, everybody runs for that. I'll go run in for something else because I, I'll ride it again, but it's not like, oh my God, I have to ride it again. Like, you know, Flight of Passage and stuff, you ride it over and over and over oh, again. I love Flight of Passage. Um, Haunted Mansion, I, that's old yeah. ride, love it. Pirates of the Caribbean, Small World, we ride those every time. If we didn't ride that again, we wouldn't be too upset. Well, even, you know, Nathan Hartman, he's like, if a theme park ride is one of the most amazing in the world, but it breaks down every day, doesn't that make it a bad ride? Isn't reliability one of the most important criteria? That's it. I mean, people plan entire trips around this ride and the damn thing breaks down more often than right. not. Right, and they're hardly getting, they, they took the three boarding groups down, or like there's three times a day you get on the virtual queue right now, and they took it down to two. So now it's at 10 and two, as opposed to three times you had before. They fill up instantaneously. And they're, because of the social distancing and because they're not putting as many people through, that's making it take longer. But it's also just taking an awful long time because it keeps going down. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I don't know, because I could see them be like, oh, we're going to take it offline to fix it. But by fix it, they're like, oh, and by the way, we're going to roll it back to original trilogy and because that's what people want. So we're I don't think they will anytime this. soon. But Not anytime soon, but maybe within the next couple of years. If they can get this this technology to work, I can see it. Or if they start doing stuff with Luke again, people are like, oh my God, it's Luke. Yeah. I think they could totally do it because I think they would have a much greater response to the old trilogy. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's the thing. When, when they announced Star Wars Land, people expected it to be like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They, they thought they were going to go ride original trilogy Star Wars and there's more Star Wars and Star Tours now than there mm. is in Galaxy's Edge. So I think it was a disappointment uh, in that regard. And the Falcon ride, frankly, is a waste of time. It, it's cool. It's to go mission to... space. Yeah, it's, it's, I'd rather them just do it as a walkthrough, like the, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse, because the ride itself is boring as hell. It's, yeah, it's not that great. It's not good. Being on the Falcon's cool, though. Being on the Falcon's cool. They did a damn good job with, you know, getting the interior right and all, and all of that and the cockpit right, but um, the ride itself is lame. And when we went, we had to take Bun Solo. Yeah, we took Bun Solo. Bun Solo is my uh, uh, Build-A-Bear. There was a, a Han Solo costume and a cute bunny, and so I made Bun Solo. And someone said I should name it Hair Solo, but no, it's Bun Solo. And he visited, He vi I took him just to go to Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did. He wrote everything. He did. He, he wrote the Falcon. Yeah. So, all right. Are we going to wrap this one up? Yep. Okay. So please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, and we will talk later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.